Now that missile flew for about 15 minutes. It's the second missile test that North Korea has launched just in the past four days. But what's important about this one is the path that it took. North Korea fired its latest missile at daybreak. It flew nearly 1,700 miles, provocatively right over northern Japan, before breaking into three pieces and crashing into the Pacific. Defense systems in Japan went into high gear. Early warning systems advised people to find cover. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe holding an emergency 40-minute phone call with President Trump, calling the missile launch a grave threat. Shinzo Abe saying President Trump expressed the U.S. is 100 percent with Japan, its ally. Mr. Trump earlier this month took a hard line on North Korea. They will be met with fire, fury and, frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Afterwards, North Korea threatening to attack the U.S. territory of Guam, home to a key military base. Tensions are always high between the U.S. and North Korea this time of year because the U.S. military is carrying out military exercises with South Korea. But with leaders now in Pyongyang and Washington who both seem to thrive on provocations, tensions haven't been this high in years. Today, South Korea responded to the North Korean missile launch by dropping bombs of its own, but only on a test base inside South Korea, where along the border today, we could hear North Korean propaganda. Like the missile test, the calls from a regime demanding to be respected and feared. Kim Jong-un has fired more missiles than his predecessors, his father and his grandfather combined, and seems undeterred by threats or calls for restraint. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.